To what do I owe this call? My sincerest apologies, Your Majesty. I am pleading on behalf of my daughter. She has committed this massive blunder. Please, Onyezi, forgive her. I want you to see it as the act of a child. You really think so? Yes, I know so. Your Majesty, I also need to inform you that my daughter is on her way right now to see you. Oh, what? What is he saying? To apologize to you and uh, Princess Monachi for disrespecting her on a day like this. Oh, oh, daddy. Well, if your daughter is here, if your daughter is coming here to apologize to my daughter for the rubbish she did, then your own apology is accepted. Oh, yes, 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 Onyeze. Yes. She's on her way. Oh, thank you very much for accepting my apology. <laughs> Daddy, what was that? Dad? Defy me and live to regret it. Are you kidding me? Are you, is it fucking kidding me, Mom? Do something, Mom! Have you seen the reason I asked you to always get a grip on your emotions? You shouldn't have given that idiot a slap! Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Do something! You will have to pay for it. By humiliating myself, Mom? Mommy! Do you really want to risk disobeying your father? Mommy, come back! You have to do something about this! Do something! You can't walk away! Oh, bloody hell! Daddy, sincerely, I don't care about any apology. I just want Cherichi to leave me alone. Dad, I want my peace. Mona Jimzo, you are the princess of Enuabo Kingdom. And today, you were disrespected by someone who is not qualified to disrespect you. An apology must happen, and that apology must happen today. That is the only way peace can reign. Yes, Dad, you just said it. I was the one who was disrespected, right? So I feel I should be allowed to decide what happens to the offender. Unfortunately for you, Mona Shimso, you have no say in this at all. You are still my daughter who lives under my roof, and your security, physically and otherwise, is my responsibility. I wouldn't want to discuss this with anybody anymore. Oh, oh, yeah. Normally, this is not to you and no. And secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone who is never fighting you? Your attitude got me asking questions. What happened to you, girl? Sitting while you started, then you have no remorse. Let go your pride and let things flow. Hey, could this be your session? Or maybe she have lost it. This be my Cause baby girl, you are losing me. Could this be obsession? Or maybe she have lost day. Or maybe this is my You are standing before a king, and I will advise you to show some respect. Well, I'm here to apologize, aren't I? I apologize, Your Majesty. I apologize, Mona. Accepted. 
Good. Just so you know, I am only apologizing for slapping you. As for my desire to become the head princess, that is my right. And I am going to exercise it. You got that? You will exercise it. Should I understand that to mean that you, the princess of Adababo, has come to the royal family of Enuabo Kingdom to declare war? Oh, oh, oh. Your Majesty, with all due respect, if you are going to sit there and misconstrue my statement as a declaration of war, then so be it. Bring on everything you've got in your armory, and I will match you squarely. Have a good day, royal household of Apple. Daddy, is that a smile on your face? You know, the line between life and death is so tiny, sometimes even invisible, that some people wander from life to death without even knowing it. Let go your pride and let things flow. Hey, could this be obsession? obsession. Or oh, maybe she has lost it. This be my Cause baby girl, you are losing me. Could this be obsession? Oh, maybe she have lost days. Hey, or oh, maybe this is madness. Cause baby girl, you are losing me. Normally, this is not the you and no. Secondly, what has come over you? You've become a monster and why are you fighting someone? I will end it all for your daughter today. I will start by dismembering her bit by bit. Then I will gather the pieces. When I am confirmed that she's dead, I will gather them into a heap and set it ablaze. If you will calm down and tell me what she did again, Maybe I will know where I stand. Ngalafosi. What? You will know where you stand? Let me ask you. Who is your husband? You are my husband, of course. And why do you have to doubt on whose side to stand? Excuse me. Chirichi is also my daughter. Which is why I have every right to choose for her. Now if you will come and tell me what she did. Okay. All right. Listen to this. Dear Esadabwe, I was under the impression that your daughter will apologize to mine. Instead, she came here and made a pledge of war against the royal family of Inuabo Kingdom. I am wondering, when did the people of Apo start calling the Ashi out for war? I will wait for your voice note. Did you hear that? Did you? Now, do you still doubt on whose side to stand in this case? Support. Okay, what? What is it? What? What do you want to do? Calm down, everyone. Please, calm down. This is a trying moment for this family. <laughs> Shh, stop. I'm going to solve this problem once and for all.
Ti vedi? Daddy, I don't want things to get out of hand. I am willing to relinquish my right as head princess if that is what it will cost. Dad, you and Aza that we are practically brothers. Don't let this come between the two of you, please. Listen, listen. Had it been Chere, she asked nicely. I am sure somehow we would have found a way around this. But she decided to do it her way by coming to my place to declare war on my daughter. I don't want to get involved. I am simply going to allow the powers of her boy to settle this once and for all. Daddy, okay, I may not understand what you mean by allowing the powers of our boy to settle anything, but I know it's not something good for Cherichi. Please, Dad, please, let it go, please. It cannot go. Unfortunately, it cannot. Listen, there is nobody who will ever declare war on my daughter and go ahead and enjoy free ride. It is not possible. Inside that house where a masquerade is singing, a human being is there. They will find out. When you touch the tail of a tiger, you want to start to why can't this useless charity know when to stop? You know what it means? Do you know the repercussion of what your daughter has done? Your daughter declared war on Enwabo. That useless daughter of yours walked right into the palace of Ezenu. Ezenu Abo. One who the dreaded of men dread. Stared him right on his face and declared war on him. War! I hope you understand what that means. Are you telling me or oh, you're trying to fight me? Calm down. Anyways, it is out of youthful exuberance. Ezeinu is an intelligent man and I'm sure he will understand. And he has refused to do that. And I'm certain he will never. Your daughter is cursed. So, if she meets her sudden death out of her own stupidity, so be it. I reject it. I reject it. Everyone be like, Inuabo, Inuabo, all the time as if it's the greatest kingdom on earth. What start? If my daughter has declared war on them, so be it. We have no other option than to fight the war. Rubbish. Greetings, Your Majesty. To what do I owe this visit? Your Majesty, I've been calling you since yesterday. Even this morning I've given you six missed calls. And you never picked any of them. That has not answered my question. To what do I owe this visit? Igwe Noabo. Can't you at least Greet me properly. <laughs> As kings, then offer me a seat before any other thing. Okay then. Well, uh, you can sit down. It's beautiful. Is it? Is it? Is it? 
Is your boy? At least now I I know I'm welcomed. What do you want? Your Majesty, forgiveness. Forgiveness is the word that all this entire madness has ignored. For who do you want this forgiveness? Is it for yourself? Not at all. For my daughter. It is not going to happen. Ezeno, don't forget that you are the head king of the Abo dynasty. And I value our relationship so much. Please, considering the fact that we are kings from the same dynasty, you will do your call that you can have. Let me just make it clear immediately that the feeling is, is reciprocated. Only yesterday, the governor called me with the question that I should submit names of credible kings that should be part of the enlarged security meeting he wants to call in the state involving kings and the heads of securities of different kingdoms. Your name was the very first name I wrote in the list I already sent to the governor. That alone should tell you something. Oh. Thank you very much, Onyeze. I am honored. But please, always remember that I can never, ever stand against you in any way. Please. Yes. You know, now that we know that there is nothing wrong in our relationship, now that we know that uh, we still have our friendship intact, can you please leave everything concerning your daughter on one side and we can discuss something else? Is it possible? Mm. Your Majesty, I don't think it's possible. Your Majesty, I took the liberty of coming here to plead with you. Biko, can you understand that my daughter is nothing but a child. She's still a child. Forgive all her atrocious acts. Please. I know that sooner than later, she will come to realize the foolishness of her actions and, and, and come back to her senses. I am not in the mood for this baseless summer. Please. I am not prepared to let her off the hook. The ancient hook where I already left that insult. I am not. What? <laughs> Do you know what? Do you know what? Listen, please. I don't want us to drag this. We are friends, best of friends, and there is nothing wrong with our relationship. Your daughter we are talking about is an adult, and who must be allowed to fix the responsibility of her actions and her inactions. So I don't think it is necessary for you to belittle yourself coming here to plead on behalf of a woman who has not even shown remorse of the things she did. So I'm, I'm, I'm advising you to go back to your kingdom and they spend this energy in trying to get your daughter to do what she has got to do. And on that note, this meeting has ended. Can you please tell me what you want to drink, whether you want to drink whiskey, brandy, or rum, or anything, just mention it and it will be provided. Ezeno, I thank you very much for offering to host me, but um, before then, I'll go home first and um, put my daughter all right. Maybe after that, I will come back for the feast. Hmm? You are indeed a wise man. I will take my leave. Go in peace. Yes, then, uh...
real. He... Wake up, Wait. you're dreaming. <laughs> no, I'm not. Him, he, he... Mommy! Wake up, Cherechi. You are dreaming. Mommy. I said you were dreaming. Mommy. Oh, dear God. Was that you all along? No, my ghost. Get up. Mommy, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, dear God, you just interrupted my engagement process. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Relax. What is it? What do you want? You have a visitor. A boy? No, come on, Ton. Gosh, I was having a good time. I need to dress you well. Who is it? The very last person you you expect to see in this house today. Is it him? Real? Oh, come on. Go see for yourself. Huh. My mother was right. You are most certainly the last person I expected to see in my palace. I come in peace. If you say so. Sit. Thank you. Chirichi, please. You have to come back to my father and apologize. We can come to an agreement between us. <laughs> that will never happen. We grew up together. We were best of friends. Sisters, please stop this madness. Wow. So now you think I'm mad? I didn't say that, no. I was just trying to make you understand that. You what is police? Enough with the hypocrisy. We want more, you're not here to make peace. You are here to secure your throne. You want to be the head princess of Abo Dynasty. Chirichi, this isn't what you and I want. Well, I know what I want and I get what I want by all means necessary. Girl, please, calm yourself and listen to me. I want to listen to you. I do not want to listen to you. And Monachi, if indeed I'm your sister like you claim, you should step down for me. How about that? Believe me, if it was the right thing to do, I'll do that. Mm. But the simple truth is, you can never be the head princess of our board dynasty. It has never been done before and it can never happen. Says who? You? Listen girl, this isn't going to end well for you. And if you succeed in dragging me into a fight, it's not going to end well for both of us. And so be it. If I'm not going to be the head princess of our dynasty, nobody will. Have a good day, Princess Mona. Oh, maybe she have lost things. Hey, or maybe this is madness. Cause, baby girl, you are losing me. Normally, this is not the you and no. And no. What? I hope you didn't touch her. Relax, mommy. I didn't hit the bitch. Hmm? I didn't hit her. No. Better. So, why was she here? Peace, she said. I don't understand. How do you mean peace? The hypocrite says that it's not possible for me to
become the head princess and so she came to cajole me into backing down can <laughs> you still see that as peace talk <laughs> mommy i got this i left her disappointed <laughs> oh that's nice i always know that mona is a scheming little bitch i know me. that mm -hmm. well i won't let her win and i made that clear Oh, that's my girl. If there's anyone to perform at the Lenwale Festival, that person is going to be me. Exactly. That's it. Mm -hmm. I want you to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. All of them should just sit back and watch me become what I want to become. <laughs> Excuse me, mommy. I got things to do. All right. I'm happy. I know you are.